Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on adding three digit numbers with trading. Addition of three digit numbers with trading follows the same rules as addition of two digit numbers with trading. The only difference is that we have an extra column to consider. With two digit trading we have the ones column and the tens column. With three digit trading we have the extra hundreds column. So in the earlier video we saw that such thing as a flat. Okay, that's a flat there and it's basically 10 by 10 of the little cubes, which means it's 100 cubes. And that's the same as 10 longs. Because each of these longs has 10 small cubes in it. So 10 tens are 100. So one flat is the same as 10 longs. Now here's a visual example of trading. Visual means we can actually see what's going on. Here we have 13 longs. Now let's see if we can do some trading. The trading means that we're going to get rid of some of these longs and get, get a flat. See if we can do some trading. Well, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If we get rid of those 10 there, here's our flat. Okay, there it is. And that flat is worth 100. Of course, those 13 longs there, they're worth 130. So the flat here, that's already 100. Okay, so let's write that down. That's 100. Now, what have we got left? We've got three longs. Now, each of those longs is a 10. Three tens are 30, so here's your three longs. So that's what trading's about. Okay? So those 13 longs can be one flat plus three longs. And it's exactly the same number. Example 1. We're adding 473, 247 and 135. Starting with the units column, 7 and 5 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Put down the 5, which is 5 units, and there's 110. 7 plus 1 plus 4 plus 3 is 15. So you put down the 5, so that's basically, because it's in the second column, that's like it's 5 tens. Okay, and this one here, that's 100. So that one represents 100 because it's in the third column. So when we add that row there, or that column there, we get 8. So the answer is 855. Example 2, 6 plus 4 plus 2 is 12, so there's 2 units plus 110. When we add all those digits together, including the 1, do not forget the 1, okay, that gives you 17, so that's 7 here, see, that's 7 tens, that one there is 100, so there's the trading. We add all those digits up here, and we get 19, so the answer is 1,972. Now don't forget, pause the video at any time, and take your time to check all these over. Example 3. We're adding those three digits to those three digits to those three digits. When we add the first column up here, we get 16. So that's six units and one ten. When we add all those digits together, we get 21. So that's one ten and two hundreds. When we add all those digits together, and remember you have to include the two, you get 23. So it's 2,316. Example four. Adding all those digits together, when you add the first column here, you get 21, so it's one unit, that's very important, one unit plus two tens. When you add all those digits here together, you get 18, which is eight tens plus 100. And when you add all those digits together, you get 25. So the answer is 2,581. Have all the columns under each other perfectly. Do your trading as you go across. Understand what these little digits here mean. A little digit here means that's a, a 10. So there's two 10s because it's in the second column. This little digit here is a 1. But it actually stands for 100 because it's in the third column. Do plenty of practice and I think you'll go okay. Example 5. A survey was taken to ascertain the number of cars that parked in a school car park for each of four consecutive days. 
The results were as follows. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, those par uh, cars were parked there each day. What's the total for the five days? We put all the numbers together in the columns perfectly and we add them up. Okay? So when we add those digits there, we get 18, which is 8 in the units column, and there's 110. Add all those up, you get 13, which is 3 lots of 10, and there's 100. Add all those up here, and that gives you 9. So 938 uh, cars altogether. So 938 cars parked there for the entire four days. The top five point scorers in a particular sport for the season were... So those five people scored those points respectively. And we need to find the total. So we put all the numbers down, put the whole lot down, and count them up very carefully. So when you count those digits there up, you get 24. So there's four units and two tens. When you add all those digits together, you get 34. So that's four tens and three hundreds there. And when you add all those digits together there, you get 20. So the total number of points for the five people were 2,044. Okay, so don't forget to practice. Pause the video at any time. Go back over any sum and do it at your leisure.